Hello everyone! With tiger grizzles being so popular at the moment, a lot of breeders are looking for these pigeons, and there has been a little confusion regarding what is and what isn't a tiger grizzle. Today I'll try to talk you guys through some of this confusion, and help you know what is and isn't a true tiger. This video is sort of an informal part 2 to the tiger grizzle breeding video, so if you haven't already watched that one, I definitely recommend you take a look after this one. I'll try to make a side-by-side -side comparison video with all these pigeons later in the year, when they're all in the same loft together. But for now, we can just look at some individual birds. One of the most common causes of confusion is the recessive red model phenotype. A lot of breeders see a bird like this and think they might have found a red tiger riddle. This mistake makes sense. You have the solid red coloured feathers and the solid white feathers mixed together on the pigeon's wing shield. And this colour also is not too uncommon in racing pigeons. Unfortunately though, this is not a tiger grizzle. It is just common for recessive red racing pigeons to molt in this white feathering. Mating a bird like this to a black tiger grizzle usually will not produce you any more red models. It is actually a recessive gene, unlike the genes behind black tiger grizzle, which are dominant. I'll do a how to breed video on recessive red in the future, so make sure you subscribe for that. Unfortunately, it can get a little more confusing though when you see pigeons like this, which are true tiger grizzles. This time, these are spread brown tiger grizzles, but they do look a lot like the recessive red model pigeons. The difference between these pigeons and the popular black tiger grizzles is just the base colour. These pigeons have a brown base colour instead of black. You can learn more about this in my colours, patterns and modifiers video. I'm currently trying to breed a brown tiger, so in a few weeks we might have a young one to show off. For an added layer of confusion, you can of course breed ash red tiger grizzles but I don't have a photo of one to show you. This is an ash red spread, which should give you some idea of what an ash red tiger might look like. I don't really expect them to be too attractive. They will just have a mottled, ashy appearance, but I might try to breed one later in the year to show you guys. Some people also confuse black pied pigeons for tiger grizzles, but again, pied and grizzle are separate genes. This is an older video of a young bird that will be racing this year. Hopefully I can give you an update on him in a week or two. We also need to remember that tiger grizzle is a separate allele to regular classic grizzle. Classic grizzle lightens all the feathers of the pigeon, whereas tiger grizzle makes some of the feathers pure white and leaves others untouched. Tiger grizzle also typically doesn't affect the flight feathers or tail. Classic grizzle combined with spread can occasionally mimic tiger, but a simple breeding test will easily tell you if your pigeon is a classic or tiger grizzle. If you mate your tiger grizzle to a blue bar and produce a regular grizzle, instead of a blue tiger grizzle, then you know your original bird was not a true tiger. I do hope this video has been helpful and has not confused things more. Please feel free to ask any questions in the comments, I will answer them. And like I said, I'll try to make a comparison video in the future so you can see these colours all together.